It is the first of the month and there is sunshine in Minnesota, so I am going to bask in it as much as I can. I'm sorry if it's distracting or something as it the sun disappears and comes back, but it feels good. It's January. It's not January. It's February 1st. <laughs> We are back with another first of the month reflect celebrate and plan this is a reflection that i've been doing on the first of the month for a while today for me is february 1st but whatever first of the month that is for you something in this reflection might be helpful for you to to try on see how it works this isn't intended to be a do exactly what i say practice but take what works, take it as inspiration, and hopefully something helpful comes from this kind of a reflection for you. I'm spending some, some good time reflecting on January. I had a, a lot of intentions going in, didn't do all of them the way I would have hoped, but I'm using that as inspiration for moving forward. So without further ado, let's dive in to this reflection. In case we haven't met yet, my name is Annette Benincuentes or Annette Smiles, and we're going to start with the reflection portion. The way that I started this one was writing out my memories week by week. So starting with week one, what do I remember happening? What stood out to me? What activities did I do? Who was I with? How did I spend my time? And I wrote it kind of as a journal entry. I did that for week one, two, three, four, and we just started week five, so I did a little bit of that as well. After taking time to write out those things that stood out, I kind of just basked in this walking down memory lane. And the second part of that reflection was going back through for each week. And if you know me, you know I love doing a reflection by going through my old photos and going through my old calendar. So I compared that to what I wrote down and wrote out what are the things that I missed? What are the highlights and experiences that I had that didn't come up just from memory? I think sometimes I, I either trust or don't trust my memory enough and forget how many incredible things I accomplished in a short month. And if you look at even just how much I wrote, there were a lot of things that I forgot when I did my initial reflection just from memory. I just wrote out, you know, girls night, reunion with my old team, brunch and work at a restaurant, reflection at park. I mean, not even full sentences. So this probably equates to even more than this reflection. Um, but the reflection for me was really deep diving and digging into what happened each week of January so far. In some ways, it felt like January went by really fast. In other ways, I feel like, wow, I did so much that I kind of forgot about. So take some time to reflect and then we'll move into the second part, which is the celebration. For celebration, um, this one was a little bit shorter for me for this practice. I went through all my memories and everything that I missed and I made a list of what are the things that stood out multiple times. I kept coming back to these moments of quality time with quality people or these workout classes or moments where I chose healthy food or the times that I sat down and recorded content even if I didn't share it yet. Um, those are the things that stood out to me and those are the celebrations and the highlights even if it wasn't something that i did every day and even if i was disappointed in how little i did them i still did them and it's still worth celebrating and making note of the fact that those stood out to me in my memories and in the what i missed portion with my list of the things that i was celebrating i used that to inform part three which is making a plan very simply, I made a list for February of what are the things that I hope to look back at the end of the month and celebrate from the month ahead. I wrote down things like starting the next mastermind group, getting a new private client, auto posting my content on social media because I have so much to share and I just haven't shared it, uh, doing two workouts per week. That was one that it was hard for me to even write that because usually my goal is to do like three or four workouts a week, but I just need to trust and listen to the fact that it's winter and I'm tired and sometimes resting is okay and finding other ways to move my body can be just as impactful. Um, I also wrote making more music, making more memories, and finally implementing my budget. All of this is 
more of the inspiration of what I would like to plan for February. Um, the important part here is taking these pieces of the plan and creating some action and how to actually accomplish them. If you haven't seen it yet, there is a video I made at the beginning of the year or at the end of last year that I'll link somewhere here where I talk about how do you take these plans and create a structure to actually make them implementable <laughs> and more likely to accomplish. Oh my gosh. Hi. The last thing I'll say with it being my February reflection is that something that I have been finding really helpful is thinking about goals and plans in terms of quarters instead of the whole year. So as I wrote down these things that I want to accomplish in this next month, I'm not thinking about it as February, the second month of this whole year with all of this time to accomplish it. I'm thinking of it more as the second month of the quarter, which means I have February and March and this really short timeline to accomplish the things that I focus on. It's also helpful for me to take bite-sized chunks of my wild dreams and big goals into something that's more realistic to accomplish. I hope you take some time either pausing through this video, re-watching it, or doing some reflection at the end. Just remember that it's not enough to watch and be inspired. It really takes doing this reflection for yourself, taking the time to answer some questions so that you can move into this next month with intention. There is always something to celebrate. There's always something to work on, but also just remember to enjoy the moment, enjoy the process, and love who you are and who you're growing into because that's what we're here for. I can't wait to continue planning and celebrating with you in the future.